What's going on guys and welcome to a new video and I got this question from Samson in the lifestyle design community and basically he wanted to know how you can grab the attention of whoever manages the social media page and get them to refer you to the business owner and for those of you that are in the lifestyle design community or been following my channel for a while know that um, I'm a very big fan of Facebook outreach why because it's more personal than LinkedIn people on LinkedIn are very very used to getting pitched to you know having people uh, that they do not know you know send them a request to connect and then you know follow up with a message etc you know linkedin is very very saturated because everyone is trying to pitch each other their services and there's no you know there's, there's no personal feel or connection anymore whereas with facebook facebook is a much more chilled platform you know it's it's a platform where people mo more often than not only have uh, their friends or people that they actually know on the page um, so I think that Facebook is a much much more effective platform than LinkedIn yes LinkedIn is a business to business uh, platform and like I said you know a lot of people are connecting there but you know it's basically what you're trying to do is interrupt the you know it's quite pattern and interrupt so it's the same with uh, nowadays with um, with advertisements you know if you see a very high quality advertisement and you you can tell from from the, the first second that you see it it's an advertisement you will automatically block it out you know it's like you've got like a, a mental ad blocker you know you'll scroll you keep scrolling but if you see something that catches your eye something with uh, something that you haven't seen before or something that you're not really sure what it is you know you'll stop for a second and think hang on what was that you, know, you scroll back up or you, you keep watching etc for example a lot of people now on instagram stories uh, or that are doing Instagram story ads onto the fact that if you do this you know people will stop for a second and say oh what, what was that you know they'll keep watching or if you start something with something with uh, money or something that pops out or jumps out you know you'll stop because it's something that you're not used to seeing and then you know you'll stop for a second you'll basically consume what's coming at you and you'll you know physically mentally you know you'll actually um, realize what is going on and the same goes for any type of of contact you know if you're on facebook and you send um, a business page a message you basically need to try and find a way to you know create that pattern interrupt and to make sure that you know your message isn't um you know basically disregarded as every other sales message and for example i was watching a video the other day um was it sam Owens? i'm not really sure i can't remember off the top of my head um what video it was but basically someone said uh, when they send cold emails out, they don't capitalize any letter in um, the title of the email. Why? Because a lot of um, you know sales copy and a lot of high end um, you know a lot of a lot of sales emails nowadays um, you know they have very nice looking uh, titles. You know it will say something like you know it'll have like an enticing question, etc. Um, and every every first letter of the the sentence of the of every each word in the sentence is capitalized because that is sales copy and what this guy started doing is having lowercase letters for every single word in that sentence of the title to basically you know create that pattern interrupt and to make someone realize that hang on this is not the same message as all those other sales messages you know with someone that um, is probably sending a real email same goes for a lot of what a lot of people um, used to do. It doesn't work as much anymore now because people are onto it. Is having R R E in capital letters at the start of uh, the title of the email. Why? Because it looks like it's a reply to what you've sent them. So it looks like to the business owner that you, as a person, um, have already been in contact with the business owner, and then he's much more likely to um, you know click on the email and you know read what it actually says and basically that pattern interrupt is what you need to create as well when you're reaching out on facebook or even when you're doing cold calling you know you need to break the pattern or be break the cycle of or their perception basically of um, who you are and what you're trying to accomplish okay so what you need to figure out is how can you make the gatekeeper or the person who manages the page um give you access to the business owner Okay, that is what you need to try and figure out. And guys, like the gatekeepers, they are the worst. You know, it's it's someone that is basically trying to protect the owner from you contacting them. 
okay? It's like a filter, okay? What they're trying to do is block out all the bullshit so that only the most important people can actually have access to the business owner, okay? It's like the first line of defense. So you need to try and get over that or through that or, you know, go around that to contact the business owner. And uh, you can do this in two ways, or you can try and figure out who the business owner is first, then uh, message them on Facebook, or you can befriend the gatekeeper and try and, you know, um, get in contact with the gatekeeper, befriend that person, and then get that person to introduce you to the business owner. And the most difficult thing about Facebook is, and something that you really need to be careful with, is that the person who manages the Facebook page is mostly the, the social media manager, the SEO manager, or whatever. And, you know, it, if you are mentioning that you are a social media marketer, that person, his job is basically on the line then because you know, you're basically trying to take over his job. So what you need to do is you need to come after it, you know, come at, come at it from a different angle. And what you can do, or what was worked for me in the past, is by just you know talking to the whoever is managing the social media page, you know, try and bring up a casual conversation, talk to them for a bit, and then uh, let's say the guy who is managing the page is called John. Okay, you say, well, listen, John, um, actually the reason for me, you know, this is obviously after the, the small talk phase, the reason for me messaging you is because I have a lot of, let's say it's a, what should we do? It's a dentist or a teeth cleaning, whatever. Okay, so uh, you say, okay, the reason for my message today, John, is because I've, I've got a few people um, that are looking, you know, for teeth whitening, teeth cleaning, whatever, and I was wondering if you've actually got space for, you know, 10 to 15 people. Okay, then see what they reply. Now, that person is not going to um, quickly turn that off. That person is not going to say no because you know you're basically bringing them business, um, which you know makes him look good as well. Okay, so um, first of all, you've had the small talk. You know, you've you've sort of built up rapport with this person, and then you say, okay, listen, you know, the reason for me messaging in the first place was because you know I've got some people that would really like to uh, you know use your teeth white and service do you have that capacity okay and then from there um you know obviously this person is, is going to ask a few questions because you know he wants to make sure that his job is still secure so he'll say well you know where are these people come from um what is it exactly exactly you know oh the business owner isn't here right now is q you can tell me and then i'll tell the business owner when he's back okay and then you basically need to to, to fend off his questions and stick to the main goal of that of you know of you having that conversation. So listen, you know it's uh, basically you know I can consistently get you, um, you know, a certain amount of people each and every month. And I was wondering, you know, if I could just speak to the business owner for four or five minutes, or if I can have his email, his personal phone number, blah blah, blah you know, to uh, just run things by him because you know I've got a consistent amount of people that have an interest in your service. Okay, so befriend the gatekeeper. You know, talk to them, strike up a casual conversation on Facebook, or like I said, you know, if you're doing the cold calling, um, you know, the same thing, you know, compliment them, you know, brief conversation, and then, you know, say the reason for my call is blah, 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 and, you know, it's just running, I could talk to the business owner for five minutes. Okay, so that is basically how you um, attract the attention of the gatekeeper, interrupt their pattern, you know, so they understand that you're not just one of the many salesmen, and that you know you're, you're genuine you know it's a real person that's talking to it's not an automated bot anything like that and then you know try and get the gatekeeper to do the work for you by you know getting the gatekeeper to refer you to the business owner and the only reason or the only way you can do that is by making sure that he doesn't realize that his job is on the line okay so a lot of people i see out there you know they will say listen you know i'm a social media marketer i can do this this and this can i talk to the business owner do you really think that the gatekeeper is going to let you through? Because, you know, the gatekeeper, if you're doing outreach on Facebook or outreach via email, you know, that person is the one that is responsible for social media. Okay, he is not going to let you through because then his job is at stake. Okay, guys, so if you apply this method, you'll realize or notice that you will get in touch with the business owner much, much more often. Okay, so like this video if you've got some out of it. Comment down below what you'd like to see for my channel next. Subscribe to the channel for more and I'll see you guys in the next one.